Welcome back everybody to another 3PG Minecraft tutorial. That's right. In this one we are going to do, um, I already kind of showed this in one of my Let's Play videos, but we're going to do a little bit more detailed on this and a little bit shorter, make it a little bit shorter. So um, we are going to do our my item sorter uh, tutorial here with uh, optional overflow garbage disposal. First, I wanted to show you guys why I changed the design. It, ultimately, it's going to be the same like this. I, I saw this design from uh, Daedalus822. Um, this is his basic design. Actually, I don't know if the key lays claim to it, but this is pretty much a basic design. I, a lot of people are going for this design. It's nice. It's big, a um, little expensive, but it works you know it's it's a good system everything comes down it filters out you got your filters here and you know whatnot and and uh yeah so but the pro problem with this one is it breaks and then once it breaks if you've got a whole line of sorters uh you're host it, it, you're you're screwed it's gonna hurt you and uh, it's gonna make a real big mess let me show you for an example here in this this one here we've got um bone all right this is right at max occupancy before it breaks um, this one we've just got some obsidian so this is obsidian filter let's put a chest here this is not fully set up don't need to demonstrate this um, but if you've used this design for any length of time you probably know how this breaks or why this breaks but this goes off the assumption with the comparator here that you're never going to run everything 100 percent full well when you're out mining if you've got a whole automated system going you're going to get full especially if you're filtering things like cobblestone and dirt and whatever else so um but the problem is is once you get going and i'll show you here um we're just going to throw in um just throw in some bone here and i won't even throw all of this in here we'll just do half of it um probably won't do half of that um is once it goes through bam see it lights us up so now it turned on this other side now it's dumping our obsidian that's that's not good so now this entire side is broken all our obsidians here we no longer have a filter so anything that passes through here and it won't reach here because i didn't put in it's not fully set up and i didn't put in quite enough bone to do that but yeah it breaks us now this is broken so if you have another one next to it, it's not broken yet, but this one now will rapidly fill up because this one's full. It's not going to accept anymore, and it's just going to start dumping everything down. So, yeah, it and, and it just breaks all the way down the line. It just keeps going. It, it's a big landslide of mishap, and yeah, not, it's not a pretty thing to clean up. So, I've came up with, uh, so far in all my testing, a pretty foolproof way of getting this to work. I have yet to get it to break. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, I'm not going to make this too big here, but I want to make it big enough that you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. So we'll do four wide here. This last one, we'll make this last one our miscellaneous chest. Now, if you want... The redstone lamps, you probably already know this if you've seen this design or used this design yourself. If you want the redstone lamps to indicate when something gets is being dumped into these, then you will need three hoppers here. Um, it's a must. You need three hoppers here. Um, well, pr you pretty much just need the spacing is what you need. And in order to make it accommodate the spacing you need, you have to put three hoppers here. If you don't want that, then you can get away with one or two. It just depends on your design, but um, you need three for this. So. All right, that out of the way, let's go ahead and just go ahead and lay out our chest now. So we'll just alternate like we did just a second ago between trap chest and normal chest. All right, then again. And then one more time, we need to go up here. This is the trap chest, trapped. Normal, normal. Trap, trapped. All right. So now let's go ahead, grab some hoppers. You want to face these hoppers pretty much as you expand this and you try to keep track of the resources. Um, the heaviest is going to be 
I mean, obviously you're going to need a chunk of redstone, but redstone's pretty easy to come by. For hoppers, they're the expensive ones. You're going to need for each item you want sorted. And this doesn't really include the beginning section of the um, system train and all that, of the, um, the main pipeline. I guess just for each one, if you were to add on to this, you're going to need nine hoppers. All right. It's nine hoppers, which is 45 iron ingots. So yeah, it can get pretty expensive pretty quick. All right. Take some hoppers, put them at the back of the chest facing into the chest like that. All right. Now we want to take another hopper and face them into, into those ones we just put down just like that so those are facing into there all right now this one up above this we need to go ahead and put it doesn't matter what block you use to put down but we need these hoppers to face forward all right everybody will tell you you can have them face pretty much any way you want let's just face them forward it's going to be the easiest way just like this this is the front because that's where you're going to go to collect all your stuff when you need it um, so yeah these will be your filters face forward and then now we need the pipeline for these so we're gonna end up having to build out of this a little bit so i'll come out a little ways uh, yeah so then just have oops have these face away the the direction you want all your stuff we have to come out one more the way you want all your stuff to run so we're going to put stuff in here and they're going to come and they're going to go this way filter as they go through them and then off to the garbage disposal if need be all right, now, for your pipeline, don't have your pipeline, no matter where you dump your items into, you can't have them dumped straight into any of these, all right? They've, you got to be off of these like this, like here I came here, just at least one off, because otherwise the gravity will, will be too heavy. All the items that come in, gravity will be heavier than what these hoppers can handle, and it'll just dump. It'll break the system, all right? And that's not just my system. That's just the way the hoppers are designed. All right, it's not a fault in my system. It's just the way they're designed. So come off like this and see, see how it looks. Off one there, take a look at it. You can kind of count if you need to. All right. And then up here, you can have, this is pretty much however you, you need to run it for your own personal world to um, accommodate where you're going to put your items in. Okay, so this is the top. This is my living room or whatever. I come in, I dump all my stuff in, boom. It goes and automatically gets all filtered out for me. All right, so this can be a million blocks away or whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as you got the iron for it. So now let's go ahead and set up our redstone here. So whatever your building block of choice is, go ahead and grab them. And let's go like this. Okay, now we're going to need some redstone torches. Yeah, go ahead and place them on the blocks like this, right underneath this. This is what will, um, this, the, the redstone uh, torch will shut off these hoppers and prevent anything from going in. So now we need to come up one. So grab another building block here, come up one more. All right, so now behind where the filter's at, which is here. All right, we need to, yeah, like this, like this, two and two. All right, I know, I'll, I'll explain this, I'll explain this. Give me just a minute to explain it. I'm trying to remember here. Okay, take your, this is right behind the filter, all right? Here's the filter right there. Remember, this one's a filter. From right behind the filter, go ahead and grab comparators. We're going to need um, one for... Right there, right there, right there. Now this last one being miscellaneous, we don't need any redstone for it, all right? Um, I just, that's why I did four here. So you can kind of see it, it's gonna be a repeating pattern. It's gonna be like this. If we were setting this up not as a miscellaneous, then we would just go like this. And this is gonna be the same thing with all of our stuff all the way through with this um, as we alternate here. So we have to do some, a little bit of tricky wiring. Not too bad, it's not too complex here. All right. Actually, I did that wrong. This needs to be like this. Go ahead. Our redstone needs to run two blocks away from the comparator. All right. So that's why I did the two blocks there. So we got the comparator there. Put two blocks in front of it. So now just run your redstone like that. All right. That will fire up that box when it turns on and 
and do it that way. So now we need to two blocks away from this one. Doesn't matter even though this is up, we still need two blocks. Don't worry, I know it connected here. We haven't turned on the system yet, so there's nothing in there, so it's not going to break our system yet. And same thing with this side. Just repeat a carbon copy of that. All right, so now to keep that redstone from breaking, go ahead and take a block of your choice and stick it up top there. Now the redstone is not interfering with each other. All right, like I said, we don't need any redstone here because that's going to be our miscellaneous. We actually don't even want this torch here. Let's go ahead and take that. We don't want any redstone there. Otherwise, that's going to shut this off and it'll clog up the system. We don't want to clog up the system. All right. Now we need some sticky pistons. All right, just one per, one per each. Uh, let me see, let me see. Yeah, so go like that, like that, and like that. Cool. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got that right. Now we need, this is really about the only expensive part. I guess it's, you can see the comparators is kind of expensive because you need nether quartz. But once you get into the nether, that's pretty easy to come by. So we need one block of redstone for each of those. Now we get back to our building block here. Uh, like that. All right, build this out a little bit. So now what we need to do, we need some redstone repeaters. All right, these are going to come in uh, just so you know where we're at with this. Why we came down one here is they need to shut off. This is what's going to shut off these redstone torches and allow items to go through. So pretty much you're just going to alternate here. Take redstone repeater there, there, and there, and then there. Cool, just like that. See that? Just, uh, and you're going to copy that all the way down. If you got a whole bunch of sorters down, it's just going to be like this. So this next one would be would be just like that. All right, and then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way, just alternating back and forth. All right, so now take your redstone dust, go ahead and throw it in there like that. See, this keeps it from breaking uh, from the redstone touching each other. And yeah, you know what? I believe. That's going to be it for all that. That's all set up now. Okay, so before we get going, let's go ahead and set up our redstone lamps here. Okay, and this is why we needed three blocks here is because you can't have, I can't remember the exact reason, but you can't have a comparator directly hooked up to a redstone lamp it uh where is my i could swear it where is it i almost got rid of it redstone lamp all right um i don't remember exactly why but it, it breaks it I, I mean i could demonstrate it for you but i'm not going to i don't want this tutorial to be any longer than it needs to so we go like that now you can just dress everything up however you want right, you can go like this like that whatever right Bam, 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 bam. And then whatever you want these to be, put in some item frames and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and set this uh, filter up real fast so we know what we're doing. Like that. You heard the, oops. You heard the uh, pistons turn on in the back. And of course, that'll work. Two, what do we want third one to be? And then I'll show you this. We'll dump 37 into that. See what happens? So now when that fires up, it pushes this piston down. This piston lights up this, pushes that. And never at any point will this ever interfere with the other side. These are all independent of each other. So yeah, it's a completely next to perfect. I try not to call anything perfect because I'm sure you could break it. If you really tried, you could break this system. But under normal use, you're going to get 100% yield out of all your storage capacity here. So now we come up here and on a server, and if you got a whole bunch of these, it might slow it down a little bit. But in the end, you really, um, what do we have in there? We got bone and I used a redstone 
ch- or a, a trap chest here so this doesn't start dumping till we walk away so we can kind of get an idea. I don't want to put all this in here. We still got to get to our item tutorial or our garbage dispenser. So let's just do this. And we need some miscellaneous. So let's go like that. All right. That turns on. Sort, sorting out all our stuff there. There's our bones. Because right. at most, you're going to see here in just a second, at most you'll ever have is two of these powered at the same time. And really that's not even much because one of them is being depowered as the other is being powered. So now this is actually going to, I believe, the miscellaneous. We're already on the miscellaneous. See, it's all lit up here. So yeah, we got our bone. We got our grass. We got our obsidian. And we got our our glass, our miscellaneous. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this I've tried and tried and tried and you're going to get 100% yield. This is not breakable. This will fix that problem and you can store it all up. So let's go ahead and show you the item garbage, the overflow garbage. All right. So this is a pretty simple concept here as well. All right. But the only thing you want to try to make sure it's going to save you a little bit of hopper space is if you, um, uh, line up wherever you are going to put your dispenser and I didn't do it line it up with your pipeline all right it's just going to save you a little bit of extra routing with your um, with your a uh, hoppers yeah hoppers are expensive okay so now we need let's see let's see oh we need to go up one more with that let's do that so go up to Put in dispenser there underneath this one like this we're gonna need our click we need a redstone torch right that's gonna power that not a big deal we don't have anything in there right now okay then we're gonna come over here and let me see let me see yeah we need from the dispenser we need to come out to, all right, then we just need to stare this right here. Now take a comparator, put your comparator right there facing away from it, and then follow it up. We're going to need a main source of power. We, we just need to know when something's in it. We don't need to know how much is in it. So put a repeater right behind it, and I messed up. We need to come out one more. All right there, now stare this down, take some redstone dust, run it like so now we need to take a block doesn't matter what block it is as long as it's not transparent go back to our sticky sticky piston here and have it face this block have it face that block all right because it's going to end up pushing it now we need a repeater here now this is important with this repeater you got to have a delay in it so um, you can change it to whatever you want if you want to get a little bit more delay but I usually go with a three tick delay push it twice put it on a three tick delay take your redstone dust right at the end loop it right back around in this piston it'll light this piston up all right now we come over two blocks away from that and then just boom 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 run this right into this so now that'll shut the torch off which will it'll send a pulse and you'll see we'll 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 run through it here all right, now take your building blocks, like so. Yeah, here we go. All right, and I like to take a little bit of, I hate it when I do that, glass so you can kind of see what's going on here. Put it around the corner. All right, like so. We still need to put some lava in here. We can do that now. I got the lava right there. Go ahead, just boom, one bucket of lava. That's all you need. Take the glass. Oops. Fill it up. I do have MC Patcher with some uh, connected textures using the BD craft. And yeah, so you can pretty much decorate this however you want. It doesn't matter, right? This is just the redstone is really all that matters. Block in that uh, lava like so. All right. And then just. Uh, run your hoppers directly into there right just like so Ooh. just like so all right 
Now what's going to happen is let's assume now the way the system's going to work, I'll, I'll explain to you, you know, system where demonstrate this is going to come down. It's going to get filtered and it's all going to get dumped down into here, blah, blah, blah. All right. So now let's assume that you're starting to get full. Say this first one is cobblestone, right? Um, you're going to have a ton of cobblestone, then dirt, you know, whatever. It's going to fill up fast. So it's filled up. All your hoppers are completely filled the capacity all the way up to your filter. That's completely 100% full because this is efficient. It's going to dump over. It can't go in here. can't go in here. It's going to go in here because, well, this is your miscellaneous. So it will fill up your miscellaneous. So you're not going to garbage disposal. You're not going to automatically destroy anything uh, without totally filling up your miscellaneous. So if you've got a couple miscellaneous, you're going to have a while before it actually disposes, uh, which could be a good thing. Um, but really, if you fill up all these chests and then all your miscellaneous with whatever it is, uh, it might just be time to not save it any longer and really care if it gets dumped into it. So, all right, so now, now your miscellaneous is completely full too. So now your cobblestone, and your miscellaneous is completely full. That's why you always make your miscellaneous at the very end of the line. You never want to put your miscellaneous in the middle. All right, so now it's going to go through, go through, and I'm not going to demonstrate this because I'd have to break the system. I'm not going to dump a bunch of stuff up in there. And we'll go just half of these. It's going to go in here, fall down. There we go. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be like this, right? This this will be really laggy for a server. Um, so keep that in mind. And it really could even be pretty laggy for you on single player. Um, it may not be something you want to do. But when you're dumping stuff in, in here um, to come through, you're probably not going to have that many things at once. You know, at most, you're probably going to, you know, have... You might have a stack of dirt or something that get you throw in here and that's going to bypass because it's full. But... Um, that's why you need to delay in that. If you if this didn't have any delay on it, it'd leave the block over here and it'd break the system. But that's it, man. That's that's it. That is the system. Like I said, decorate this however you want. It looks pretty good. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Item frames. I'm not going to go through all that. That is the system. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor. Go down and mash that like button. It helps me out a ton. If you're new to the channel, while you're down there liking it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. They're uh, pretty close to each other. You can follow me on Twitter at 3 Gaming. You can also like me on Facebook under the same name. should be right there at the bottom screen for your convenience. You can also follow me over on Twitch. I don't Twitch too much, but I am over there. Same as my channel name here, which is Short Bus Trip. And go ahead and check out one of those other two videos that are playing on screen. Let me know what you think of those. And as always, until next time, keep on building. Peace.